Hey guys. Okay, so we are back and we are doing something yummy today. Um, sorry, you guys got to stare at my pan here, but um, I actually got this recipe from another YouTuber and um, I'm just tweaking the recipe to my own liking, okay? We're going to make some Southwest corn dip, okay? Um, so the first thing I got going here is, um, first of all, I have my oven preheating to 350 right now, and I have one whole brick of cream cheese just slowly melting and getting soft in my pan. Now, you're supposed to do this, this part of it, in your frying pan, and then you got to transfer it over to your bakeware to bake it in the oven. It's another reason why I love these pans so much because we're going to go ahead and do it in the frying pan and then this pan goes right into the oven. So no mess, no fuss, one pan, that's it. We're going to eat right out of the pan. So um, we are softening our cream cheese. I am going to go ahead and shred up a little bit of baby spinach. Just ripping it up a little bit smaller than what it already is. Like I said, it is dip. So, and you know, I could have even put this in the uh, in the ninja, but oh well. I don't mind it. I love baby spinach. The recipe did not call for it, but we are going to use it anytime I get a chance to get greens into us. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and let that melt down a little more. And uh, I am going to add one cup of sour cream. I'm just going to eyeball this. It's going to be about a cup. of sour cream. Oh, this is going to have all the goodness in it. All the goodness. Okay. Did I move you guys? Sorry. There you go. We're just heating that up. We're going to soften it up real good. Look at all that mountain together. Yummy, yummy goodness. Now I'm going to go ahead. I got two cans of original Rotel. You can use the hot, you can use the mild, whatever you want. Um, I like the original. I don't really like a lot of the hot. Um, so like I said, I got two cans and I drained most of the water out. There's still a little bit in here. Well, maybe I didn't even open that can. Here we go. Um, there's a little bit of the liquid in there, but I did drain most of it. Go ahead and give that a good mix. That smells good. Ooh, it does. If you guys had smell-o-vision, you'd be loving it right now. So yummy, so yummy, so yummy. And I'm going to go ahead, I got a bag of, see if you can see it, I got a bag of the organic green onions. They don't have to be organic. I know they're better for you. I'm going to go ahead and wash them off real quick. Um, But I do not usually buy the organic just because they are more expensive. But I will tell you that they are better for you. And just green onions in general. So yummy, so yummy, so yummy. 
Now this is a nice dish. Um, if you want to take it, you got somewhere to go, you're going to a get together, a party, something like that. Um, this dish would probably feed probably, I don't know, 10, 12 people, unless you live in my family. And we're all hogs, so. <laughs> um, but this is going to cost you about, after everything's said and done, it's going to cost you about $10 for the dish. Okay. Oh, I love green onions. Yum, yum, yum. There we go. Got lots of that goodness in there. Give that a good stir. Like I said, pretty much we're just heating this up. Did I splash you guys? Nope. I seen some splash out. It must have hit my counter. I'm very sloppy when I cook. Very sloppy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's looking yummy. I'm going to go ahead and put my onions away. Now, you want to make sure I got two cans of corn and it is I know you're having it's not focused and there it goes it's the fiesta corn and you want to make sure that you have drained it real good and the fiesta corn they just have little bits of peppers and I believe onions um no no onions. It's just seasoned with red and green peppers. So I had never even seen this kind of corn before. So I've never tried it. But I will tell you, it looks delicious. Actually, after I seen one of my YouTubers that I watch make this, then I also found a video where they made this on QVC. <laughs> they were some kind of special they were having and they made it on QVC. And it looked delicious there too. Now they did it just a little bit different than the YouTuber did and I'm doing it a little bit different than both of them did. So uh, there's nothing bad in here so you know it's going to turn out yummy. Okay, so this is pretty much all heated together. I'm going to go ahead and add shredded cheese. I do not measure shredded cheese. Seriously, you can't go wrong with shredded cheese. Use as much or as little as you want. Go ahead and give this a good stir. And that really thickened it up. Oh my my. Now, I'm going to go ahead and top it with just a little bit of cheese. I personally don't think you can use too much cheese. Now this uh, oven is nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and throw that right into the oven. I'm going to dig you guys out here. Sorry. You're going to have to bear with me for just a minute. Just bear with me for a second. Hi guys. Am I focused? Can you see me? good <laughs> so we got all that all done in the oven um, it's just gonna be in the oven for just a minute and then 
We're gonna try it out. Let me put my cheese away real quick. This is a really quick dish too. It doesn't take long at all. Um, really the only thing it's doing in the oven is just melting all that cheese uh, because everything just cooked on top of the stove. So it's just really melting the cheese. You can probably see Mason in the background there. I'm going to clean up all those slops that I just made. So uh, you should see the weather here. It's been so nice lately. And then all of a sudden we woke up and it's snowing and sleeting and gross. So can't really complain too much. We've had a pretty decent January. Even if we wanted to complain, who's going to listen, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just give that a couple more minutes. And then I have my bag of Big Dippers. Um, you can eat the, this with any chip that you want, but I had Sunny run to the store and get these little scoops because you're going to want to scoop all that goodness right into it. So we're going to get them ready because we're going to take that out in just a minute. <clears throat> so let's see, what's Mason back there doing? He's just back there eating plain scoops right now. <laughs> so, just to let a couple of you know, um, I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm very sore, very sore everywhere, and I've had a headache since last night because it was, I did take a pretty good fall last night. Uh, so I've had this headache, but I am living on some ibuprofen and Tylenol. So hopefully after the week, by the time the weekend's done, I'll be back to normal and feeling better. But it was a pretty bad night last night. So, but anyway, I have never even seen, have you guys even ever seen Fiesta Corn before? I've never heard of it. Oh, you know what? There is, on the back of the can, it's called Fiesta Corn Bake. And it is definitely different than what I just did here. But it looks really good too. So if you wanted to try this out. Now these cans for this, um, they're a little more than a regular can of corn. I think I paid like a, almost $1.50 a can for those. So it was about $3 for my corn, um, depending on how much you make, of course. I put two cans of both in, so it's about $3 for my corn. The Rotel you can get at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, but I believe at Walmart it was only $0.98. Cents. So three, four, five, that's $5 there. Um, I used about a half a thing of my sour cream, so you might as well say that's $6. Um, what else did I use? Oh, the cream cheese. That's $7. Um, the cheese, I'd say you used about a buck fifty worth of cheese. So that'd be like eight fifty, And then some of your green onion. Um, so this is about a $9 dish. So, and you'll see when I get it back out, I think it will feed a lot. I said about 10 and I'm probably about right. So... Um, it looks really good and it's smelling really yummy. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Because I think my cheese is melted. Oh, it is. Oh, it's nice and melted. That oven was nice and hot. Okay, guys, I'm going to bring you down. Sorry if I'm making you sick. Oh my goodness, how good does that look? And it really thickened up too. Okay, so let me get one of these chips.
That's a lot. Are you ready for this? It's probably really hot. Oh my goodness. It has a little bit of a spice to it. You could let it bake a little bit longer. Mm. I really shouldn't be eating in front of you guys, huh? Make it. It's definitely a keeper. So, there it is. Once more. You can see everything in it. So yummy. And that is my spicy corn dip. So you guys make it. Enjoy. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.